Good morning students. In this video we are going to see what's meant by differentiability. Differentiability means the process of finding derivative of a function is called differentiation. So the process of finding derivative. First what's meant by derivative. So this is the definition for derivative. The function defined by f dash of x equal to limit h tending to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x by h. Whenever the limit exists, this limit exists, exists is defined to be the derivative of f. So this is the definition for derivative. So f dash of x equal to limit h tending to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x by h. Then here we are using the notation f dash of x. Otherwise we can use this type of notation d by dx of f of x. Or otherwise yeah, if you take y as f of x then we can say this one as dy by dx or otherwise y dash. There are many types of notation. Once again I am saying instead of f dash of x. We can write as d by dx of f of x or otherwise if you give the name for f of x as y then we can say this one as dy by dx or otherwise simply y dash. So this is the definition for differentiability. Differentiability means the process of finding derivative of a function is called differentiation. So here we are having Three important results while finding the derivatives we can use these results u plus or minus v the whole dash is equal to u dash plus or minus v dash. So in a problem if you are asked to find out the derivative for a function with addition means you simply find the derivatives separately. Then next one if you want to find out derivative for multiplication of two values then you will be then we have to use this result this result is known as product rule that is first keep this value and then differentiate this one u v dash plus v u dash u v dash that is um, first term as it is differentiate the second term then Write the second term and then differentiate the first term. This is known as product rule. And then next one, quotient rule. U by V the whole dash equal to. First, we have to differentiate the numerator. So U dash V minus U into differentiate the denominator V dash divided by V square. Whenever this V value is not equal to 0. This is a very important rule. So memorize this one. Simply differentiating the denominator and numerator as it is minus numerator as it is and then differentiate the denominator divided by v square. Here the condition is denominator value that is v value should not be equal to 0. The name for this rule is the quotient rule. Here we are. Here I had written derivatives of certain standard function. If you want to differentiate x power n, the answer is n into x power n minus 1. Bringing this n term to the front and then subtracting with 1 in the power. For example, if you want to find out uh, derivative for x power 5 means your answer is x power 5. The answer is 5 x power 4. Suppose if it is x power 20 then the answer is 20 into x power 19. Then for sin x the answer is cos x. If it is for cos x the answer is minus sin x. Then for tan x the answer is secant square x. Only if you want to find out the derivative for cos, you will be having one negative sign. Then, next one. Uh, if you are given the limit as 
a comma b in the in a closed interval this one name for this type of bracket is closed interval and this type of bracket is open interval there is a difference between these two types of intervals this one is closed interval and this one is open interval closed interval means normally if you are having a comma b means the values starting from a and ending from ending at b we can say that values are included in the interval if it is closed interval means at the end points also the end points a and b is also included that is the meaning suppose if you are having open interval means end points a and b are not included okay see here a function is said to be differentiable in a comma b if it is differentiable at every point of a comma b then at n points a and b take right hand limit and left hand limit respectively so if you want to find out derivative if you want to find out derivative uh, for a means you have to choose the right hand limit that is the value a plus c is included in this interval similarly b is the n point so b minus is included b minus comes under left hand limit so you we have to take right hand limit for a and left hand limit for b and then we have to check whether this function is differentiable or not then if you are having simply an open interval means so in uh, we have to choose a point which uh, lies in between the numbers a comma b let us see a theorem here if a function f is differentiable at a point c then it is also continuous at that point so if you are considering a function which is differentiable means we can say it is continuous differentiability implies continuity here we have to prove so what's given f is differentiable at a point c if f is differentiable at a point c um first we had seen the definition for derivative so now this is the definition for derivative from the definition of derivative we are having f dash of x equal to limit h tending to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x by h uh, let me take uh, here a particular point c so x minus c i had taken as h so then at a particular point c so that is at x equal to c uh, here we are having f dash of c equal to limit in the place of h tending to 0 we have to replace with x minus c so x minus c tending to 0 of f of in the place of x replace with c so c plus h minus f of c by h h value is nothing but x minus c so if x minus c tends to 0 means we can write x tends to c then f of c plus h can be written as f of c plus h means we can write uh, x here so f of x minus f of c by x minus c so at a particular point c we can write f dash of c equal to limit x tending to c of f of x minus f of c by x minus c so i had taken this directly so if f is differentiable at a particular point c i am taking this one so now uh, we have to prove f is this f is continuous at that point continuous at that point means we have to prove this result limit x tending to c of f of x equal to f of c here let us consider the term f of x minus f of c for proving this result i am taking f of x minus f of c here we can multiply and divide with 1 x minus c here then let us take the limit x tending to c on both sides so limit x tending to c uh, for lhs similarly for rhs Uh, now we can bring the limit inside this bracket term similarly for rhs also we can bring the limit inside 
So limit extending to C of f of x minus limit extending to C of f of c equal to here also I had uh, taken the limit inside that bracket term. Then uh, see uh, here there is no change for the first term. Then for the second term uh, we are not having x term. So simply we can write the value as f of c. And here this one is the definition for f dash of c. And here if you substitute x with c means here c minus c it will become 0 so the second term will become 0 f dash of c into 0 means this term 0 so bring this minus f of c to this side so we will be getting the result as limit extending to c of f of x equal to f of c so this is the definition for continuous so we can say f is continuous at x equal to c so this theorem can be generalized like this. Every differentiable function is continuous. Every, we can say differentiable function as a continuous function but the reverse is not true. That is if you are taking a continuous function um, it is it may be differentiable or may not be differentiable. I had a uh, Proved this result using an example. See here. Prove that a continuous function is not differentiable using an example. So here I had taken the example as f of x equal to modulus of x which is a continuous function. So if you are considering the right hand limit, limit h tending to 0 minus of f of x plus h minus f of 0 by h equal to if it is negative value then we will be getting minus x so minus x replacing with h so we will be getting minus h by h the answer is 1 similarly if you are taking the right hand limit here we will be getting the result as 1 here it is minus 1 but here it is plus 1 so these two values are not equal. So we can say f is not a differentiable function. Okay, thank you students.